Crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a video as part of the Newton's Nook design team and a little bit later in the video I'm going to share some news regarding Newton's Nook designs. So as I started I had the idea of embossing white snowflakes onto a wood grain background and I have gathered all of my wood grain papers together so even some that don't belong in this particular paper pad are in with it because when I'm looking for a wood grain I'm not really concerned what collection it's from so I like to gather them all together but there is a really awesome wood grain paper pad from my mind's eye. I found it at Michael's one time but I've seen it at many other stores and I will try to find a link to it because I do think it's a great paper pad to have on hand and originally I thought I would use Hedgehog Hollow but in the final video as you could tell from the picture I don't wind up using that and I use a Newton Loves Coffee instead to coordinate with the Winter Coffee Lovers blog hop that's going on now and Newton's Nook Designs is sponsoring. I knew I wanted to use the snowflakes from Beautiful Blizzard because I really wanted them to be a strong element on the card and these snowflakes range um, in size but there are some quite large ones and even still the even the smaller ones are pretty intricate and so um, they definitely uh, demand some attention. And as you can tell, this is a pretty well-loved set. I, um, all my snowflakes are pretty well stained from being used quite a few times. And they have a little bit of trouble sticking to the stamp backing sheet. And if that happens, you just want to clean the backside of your stamps. It's usually because like you got some of that embossing powder bag on them or something like that. So no worries there. Stamp, even the back of stamps can be cleaned with warm soapy water. So as I was applying this, I did use the embossing powder bag. However, I was finding that little bits of the white embossing powder were sticking where I didn't want them. And you definitely want to make sure that you tap it off after you take it out of the embossing powder. Um, you may want to use a paintbrush to go in and get some of the, the little flecks that are left. Honestly, I find that generally with colored embossing powder, I get more powder sticking where I don't want it than clear embossing. I have the most success with clear embossing powder. And I have heard it suggested that if you leave the embossing powder in its original container, it might not gather as much static. But also, I'm thinking, since I recently moved to Colorado where the air is a lot drier, that might be, be affecting the static, because it certainly affects the static of our clothes. So maybe that's why I was having a little bit of trouble and it's not really the embossing powder, but just some, you know, possible tips to share. Make sure you use your embossing powder bag. Maybe don't use it on your Misty so you get all that powder on your Misty, but it doesn't matter. You can always wipe that off. And um, just make sure you try to tap off as much of it as you can. So I'm going to continue to stamp some snowflakes. This part of the card turned out exactly the way that I wanted it to, the way that I envisioned it. But as the card goes on, I do wind up having some trouble because originally I thought I wanted to use Hedgehog Hollow and I recorded myself coloring the hedgehog hollow image with prismacolored pencils and I just hated it. It just looked terrible with the card and I saved the hedgehog because I don't think he's awful and I think he'll make a really cute card one day but he just was not working and I thought at that point I'm like ah oh, I don't even have anything to share because um you know this didn't turn out well and I wound up coloring Newton without even recording it because at that point I was just feeling kind of discouraged. And I wanted to share that because I think that happens to us sometimes. And it can be kind of hard because if you don't have anyone else who makes cards um, that you live with or can, you know, text and share with, it can you can really just uh, want to give up sometimes on a card or a design. But sometimes when you push through, you find out that you really can problem solve and find the solution you want. So I did color Newton off camera, so I can't share that. But I did want to just um, share some information in this video. And like I said, that uh, announcement about Newton's Nook Designs, but here I am using this happy sentiment from Simply Seasonal by Newton's Nook, and I got into a phase where I didn't really worry about cleaning off my stamps because, like, Tim Holtz says he doesn't clean his stamps, and so many people are like, ah, it's not that really that big a deal, except for when you want to use Versamark, which is clear, and if you want to put clear embossing powder on it, especially over white, um, you'll notice the dirty parts. As you can see here, I'm stamping in Versamark, which is a clear ink, but you're definitely seeing the word happy. It's not such a big deal because I'm actually going to be stamping and, c and covering it with white embossing powder. So much of that would be colored, 
covered. But I did want to say that there actually can be some importance to cleaning off your stamps and even if the ink has been there for a while you certainly can work it out. And One thing I have found is that actually trying to stamp off the ink by putting some Versamark on it can be really helpful. I wasn't able to get it completely clean with the cleaner but by putting some Versamark on it and stamping it off a few times I got um, a lot of that last bit of residue off. So I'm going to stamp this again, again using the embossing powder bag. Again, I'm going to have little bits of it hanging where I didn't want it to, but that's fine. And so the sentiment's going to finish off the card pretty nicely, and I'm going to add the Newton that I colored with Copics. But what I wanted to tell you is that Newton's Nook Designs is going to have some changes to their team, and I'm no longer going to be part of the sort of standard design team, but instead throughout 2017 or the first part of 2017, I am going to be helping with the Inky Paws challenge, which is going to be kind of revamped. There's going to be more challenges, more inspiration regarding that. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to continue to share Newton's Nook Designs cards and share that challenge with you. And that means there's going to be more chances for you to win with Newton's Nook. If you already own their sets, more reason to, you know, play with them and share and build a community around that. So I'm really excited about that because that's what I love about being on design teams is being able to share cool companies and cool products with you. So I'm sorry that this video wasn't the most useful or um, helpful, but I hope that you got something out of it and you enjoy the inspiration. You could certainly use this um, with a different sentiment for a winter card. And that is it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As mentioned, I'll try to link all the products in the video description below, and I'll also link to the Newton's Nook Designs blog where I'm sharing this card. Thanks for watching. Bye!